So what kind of things will you do on the front end of a case that comes in where you're thinking, oh, this we got to get this thing before a settlement conference, Judge? Uh, what what will you start to do to try to make that process happen sooner rather than later? I, I usually like, if, if I'm in a, a contested type probate, I usually like to start by sending a letter where I'm going to lay out all of the arguments. Here's the law. Here's the facts. I'm going to you know throw everything in there. Um, to kind of set the stage and, and get as much leverage as, as I can. But then you end that letter with, look, here's what's going to happen if we end up fighting this. It's going to take this much time. You're probably going to hire an attorney. This person's already hired me. We're talking, you know, 10, 20, 30 grand of attorney's fees to litigate this thing all the way through each. Um, so instead of doing that, can we, you know, here's our offer. And then I'll, I'll usually have the client give me a settlement offer. Um, that we can present to the other party. So we kind of set the stage from the beginning of we want to be reasonable. Um, you know, we want to try to resolve this outside of court if we can. And sometimes that works. Sometimes you'll get them to sign, you know, the waiver or, or you know, set aside their arguments. Um, but if they don't, and then we end up in the formal probate, now at least when we go to that settlement conference, we've kind of already set that tone of we're, we're the reasonable ones. We, we already tried to settle this.